Why? The rest of the citizens of China is granted a passport in a one week. It shouldn't be more than one week to grant. As soon as somebody applied passport, he is or she is going to get a passport. I mean passport, U.S. Pass, I mean Chinese passport in one week. But for us, it's difficult. Like an inmate, we are not allowed anywhere. For instance, my, my parents wants to come to the United States to visit me. My father is 80 years old. My mom is 70 years old. They are not allowed to leave the country because of what I am doing. They are not allowed to get a passport. And this is true for thousands of people, especially if somebody has relatives, sons or daughters, anybody in the U.S. or anybody, you know, like in, in somewhere else, like in Turkey or somewhere else in Europe, they say that, no, I mean, we don't allow you to go, go abroad. You stay here. You stay here because if we let you go out there and you speak and you're involved in a political you know, organization and it's bad for us. They are telling that the truth. In addition to that, the pressure that, 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 that our overseas, you know what I mean, that the Turkestani community telling them that be quiet. Don't go to a political organization. Like, especially my organization, like East Turkestan National Freedom Center, something like that. But so right now, we are government in exile. And they are propagating many propaganda, saying that don't go, don't approach the government in exile. Because one, if you do that, you're gone, you're finished. You are not allowed to visit your homeland again, China. And we are not allowed your relatives or anybody just, I mean, live in peace. As a result, many innocent East Turkestani people are just scared to, to support our government. I mean, some, some, some of them. But still, majority of the East Turkestani community are supporting us. We start with a small number of people. Two months ago, we announced our government in the capital here. Right now, almost everybody is supporting us. Almost 85% of the East Turkestani people who live in exile supporting our government in exile. They send their delegations, as you can see, from Istanbul, from Turkey, from many other parts, of, for instance, all of the East Turkestani, well-known East Turkestani organization have the delegations, the president and vice presidents here. For instance, Dr. Sultan Mahmoud, the chairman of East Turkestan government in exile, he is the vice president of East Turkestan Foundation in Istanbul. Demayam Rahmet is the vice I mean, Vice Prime Minister of East Turkestan government, government in exile, also the Minister of Education. He is at the, at, in the meanwhile, he is the, he is the President of East Turkestan Association in Australia. Sultan Mahmed, he is the Minister of Culture of East Turkestan government in exile. He represents Uzbekistan. He currently he lives in Uzbekistan in exile. Mr. Ahmed Iganbadi. He is the president of East Turkestan government in exile. In the meanwhile, he is the founder, and he is the he was he was the president of East Turkestan um, Association in Australia before Mr. Demian Ahmed took his place. Mr. Abdulli Jan who is next, sitting next to Ahmed Iganbadi, is the president of East Turkestan Immigrants Association, or, or it's called Sharqi Doğu Turkestan Göçmenler Derneği. Next to him, Mr. Khazirbek Gayretullah, a well-known writer, 
and the freedom fighter is the vice president of East Turkestan Immigrants Oil Association in Istanbul. At the same time, Mr. Hazarbek Hazarbek Hayratullah is the vice Vice Prime Minister of Government in Exile. Mr. Aydogan is also the member of East Turkestan Immigrants Association in Istanbul. And I have, I have other fellow East Turkestanis who also represent the East Turkestan Foundation or East Turkestan Association. For instance, and we have the representative who is sitting at, at the stage right now behind you. They represent East Turkestan culture and a solidarity organization or Sharq Turkestan Kultur ve Dayanışma Dernigi in Istanbul and his head is, is also presents here. Si Taranji and he's also vice president also presents here. Qadr Han Aga also presents here and I have many other fellow Eastern Turkestanis who are unable to attend this meeting because of some other reason. But many of the Eastern Turkestani people send their, you know, I mean, congratulations or support to us. Before I forget something, I just want to mention that that the smile, smile Genghis, the spokesman of East Turkestan government in exile, and he is speaking to the media right now in, in Istanbul. And I just want to finish this, and then I would like to... Okay, and also the, the, there's a representative of Aurasia Turkish Associations. Aurasia Turkish Associations. Also, we have a, a support and a congratulations letter from all over the place, from Norway, from Norway from Sweden, from Germany, from even from Korea, from Canada, from Saudi Arabia, from even from Japan. I'm going, I would like to invite uh, Tonoko after I finish my speech. After I finish my speech. So in short right now, in two months in the past, after, uh, after we set up our government, almost all of the existed East Turkestani organization or, or Uyghur organization joined us except two organization World Uyghur Congress and the Uyghur American Associations but we respect their opinion because they have another uh, I mean strategies we have another ways of or solving our problem we still respect their uh, challenge we are like a doctor, you know, trying to diagnose which will be the best way, you know. And I know that they also want independence from the bottom of their heart. That's exactly what they say to me. Even though they say that we, you know, promote independence. But we, we are working together. We work together. About like five months ago, all of us, who promotes independence and autonomy, we get together. About 200 people were here in Washington, D.C., and everybody knows about that. So I don't blame anybody right now. No, I mean, if, if they are not joining us right now, it takes time. I still respect their opinion because we are Democratic Republic of Eastern Turkestan. So let me my, make my appeal to the world what we want. Okay, so as the diplomats and the journalists, not only I am telling the fact, 